Hundreds of people turned out to visit the Italian destroyer Luigi Duran de la Penne, docked in the Ukrainian port city of Odessa. The ship, visiting on a training mission for the cadets of the Italian Navy, will stay in Odessa for three days. They'll also meet with Ukrainian cadets from the Odessa Maritime Academy. People visited the boats in groups and had a chance to walk around the deck of the vessel. We saw the size of the ship. We saw good people, handsome ones in military uniforms, and many beautiful girls. We were impressed. We've never seen a ship like this before. Their uniforms were beautiful and neat. Before, we read everything about this ship on the internet. It was very interesting. We came here especially to see it. Visitors to the ship weren't able to see all of it, though. Parts of the vessel were banned to visitors, as the Luigi Durand de la Penne is one of the newest warships in the world. It is equipped with artillery, anti-aircraft guns, as well as anti-ship missiles. Vessels of this class are capable of conducting anti-air operations, as well as providing fire support. It has a length of 147 meters and a width of 16 meters, and it has a top speed of 31 knots. The 88-strong crew of cadets also includes 18 women. Both in the academy and aboard the ship, we practice all the physical preparation on equal terms with the guys. It is boxing and swimming, basketball, and all the rest. The plans of the crew of the ship and the cadets include paying tribute to the memory of the crew of the vessel Alberto Racchia. It exploded when it detonated a mine near Odessa almost 100 years ago. The destroyer will leave the port of Odessa in the morning of September 7th and set course for Varna, Bulgaria.